with the hip replacement, I was getting to the point where I couldn't take walks. I was fearful of traveling. My husband and I had led numerous trips to Ireland, and I, I liked to lead those trips, but I did a lot of walking. I would walk double what anyone else in the trip would because I'd take them to a site, then go back a quarter mile, make sure everybody was okay, then go back to the site. So I really, I walked a lot during that, and I loved it. But before I had the hip replacement, I realized I'm not going to be able to do those tours anymore. I just, I'm not comfortable walking that far. So once I had the hip done, boy, with it, again, it wasn't fast, but within a year then, I started feeling 100% again. Two years ago, my daughter, my granddaughter, and I took a walk in Germany that was called St. Patrick's Walk, and it was 22 miles cross country. And it was just pure pleasure. I didn't use walking sticks. But I could have never done that if I hadn't had the hip replaced. Well, after you come home, there is an amount of pain. You realize it's pretty traumatic to go in and uh, put in a new ball and socket that aren't part of your body. So the first, well, at least the first week, you feel like they replaced your leg with a log because you have to lift that log. It doesn't feel like it's any part of you anymore. It is. Real, I think your leg is numb, it's dead, I don't know exactly, but it just, it does not feel good. That takes almost two weeks before it feels like you could actually start using it. You're very, very uh, cautious. I was very cautious with it and uh, worried because they didn't want you to do too much exercise with the hip for fear that it would pop out of place. And I didn't, I found out at that time that if you have a hip replacement, it's quite a bit different than knee because knee, they want you to move right away. With a hip, it takes almost a year for whatever has to grow around that to grow around to hold the hip in place. I don't know enough about medicine to know exactly what's growing around there, but muscles and tissues. And I think more muscle was cut and that might have been one of the reasons for my discomfort. And uh, it was just a very sl much slower recovery than I had anticipated. But yet, uh, looking back, I would, I would tell anyone to do it. it. It just makes a world of difference. If you're reluctant to get a hip replacement, it's your choice. But you have to realize that you will not have the mobility you had a year ago. And if you don't care, if you're just going to sit around the rest of your life, you'll be fine. D you know, don't have it. But if you really want to continue a lifestyle to enjoy the life you're living, to me, being sedentary is just not the way to live. Eventually, if I'm going to have both done, I will not dread having the hip as I, you would think I might because I was not happy with the, the slow recovery. But everything I read and hear about now is the hips have improved so much. And now they're doing surgery in the front. I don't know what they call that, but the surgery is different and it's cutting a lot less muscle. So I think if I have to have my other hip done, I'll just relax, go through it, and just know I, I don't want to be sedentary. I want to remain mobile as long as I can, and if it means having another replacement, I will have it just so I can keep moving.